Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna be recreating this look of Parinitis from her new movie. To get started, I primed my eyelids using e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Then I'm gonna take this light brown color and sweep it all over my lid and crease area and I'm using a Sephora more than meets the eye palette. And from the same palette, I'm gonna take this darker brown color and put it just on my lid area. Then I'm using e.l.f. eyeliner pen to make a winged eyeliner um, but then later on I remove the wing part because Paraniti does not have a prominent wing. Then moving on to the face, I prime my face using Maylin Face Primer and use this peach color corrector from Krylon for my under eye dark circles. For my foundation, I'm mixing in two products. I'm mixing my foundation which is Milani foundation in shade 04 with NYX primer oil to achieve that dewy look. And after applying the foundation mixture on my face with my fingers, I'm using a beauty sponge to press the product in to achieve that flawless looking foundation. And for the concealer, I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in shade Golden. I apply the concealer on the on all the high points of my face, uh, including under eyes and uh, the lower cheeks, and blended everything in with a beauty sponge. For contouring, I'm taking this dark brown shade from Makeup Revolution Blush Contour and Highlighter Palette and I'm going to put it on my forehead, my uh, cheekbone area and the lower area of my jawline and then I'm going to blend it with a beauty sponge and for, the, for blending the jawline area, I am blending the product downwards towards my neck. For blush, I'm mixing these two colors together from the same Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbone area and my forehead area and my nose. And I'm also going to apply the same blush on my brow bone area. And next I'm using e.l.f. brow pencil to very naturally fill in my brows. Then I'm taking the same dark brown color from Sephora palette and putting it on the eyeliner part to smoke out the eyeliner. Then I'm going to take this turquoise color from the same Sephora palette and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. And I took my time to slowly build up the product. Then I curled my eyelashes and applied some mascara. For this makeup look, Pariniti had very natural looking lashes, so I decided to script the false lashes all together. And for the mascara, I'm using L'Oreal X Fiber Mascara. For the lips, first I'm using this liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution and I'm putting it just on the edges and the inner part of my mouth. I'm going to layer a few colors together because Pariniti had that subtle ombre lips. And next I'm using this lipstick from Wet n Wild in the shade Coral Corruption and putting it on just on the center of my lips. And next to blend everything together I'm going to use Wet n Wild lip gloss in the shade Rose Gold all over the lips. Next I'm going to use this highlighter from the same Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to apply it on all the high points of my face and also a little extra on the tip of my nose. And then finally I'm going to set everything in place using Smashbox setting spray. And this brings us to our final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care till then. Bye bye.